RSV stands for Respiratory Syncytial Virus, and many people may have been hearing it on the news. One exciting news that we got in 2023 is that we now have a new prevention method for infants to protect them against RSV. Younger babies have really small airways. One thing that RSV does produce a lot of is secretions. And so for older children and adults, with bigger airways, it's not as big of a deal. But when you have small airways and the secretions start going down to the lower airways, they can actually cause things, something called bronchiolitis or pneumonia, which causes increased work of breathing and more complications. The FDA, the CDC, and the American Academy of Pediatrics have approved and recommended a new prevention treatment for eight months and younger infants to help against RSV. In the past, we only had one available for very chronically ill or preterm babies, and there's very strict criteria. So this is really exciting news that we now have something for healthy and term infants that are less than eight months old. And you can talk to your pediatrician. It's available in your pediatrician's office. And a lot of newborn nurseries at the hospital are also administering it. What we're actually giving the baby and the infant is antibodies. And so we call that passive immunity because what antibodies do is that they fight against the virus and it's already pre-made and we are giving it to the infant, but it won't last for a long time. It will only last for a couple months. Whereas when we do vaccines, what we're doing is that we're actually revving up the infant's or toddler's immune system to make their own antibodies. And the good news about that is that it lasts longer. At this time, we only have this passive immunization available, but it is so important for babies that are eight months and younger. If your baby or infant is eight months to 19 months old and toddler, there are specific criteria that your child may be eligible for. It. Things like if you have a chronic lung condition or a premature baby, or any other high risk factors where you could have more severe disease with RSV. So it's really important to talk to your pediatrician to see if your child qualifies.